Andy, you covered a long offseason where the Mets were not initially interested in this guy, according to your reporting. Do you think the Mets are surprised at the production they've gotten from Walker, or did they think he was capable of this level? Uh, maybe a little bit surprised, Doug. Look, they were not interested in him at all for months and months and months. And ultimately, they obviously deserve credit for choosing him over some of the other options that people were calling for, like Jake Odorizzi or Masahiro Tanaka. Uh, but they don't deserve too, too much credit in the sense that they tried to sign James Paxton first. They tried to sign Jake Arrieta first. Uh, so there's luck and there's scouting and skill involved in all of these kinds of things, as I'm sure the Mets front office would say. Uh, but it was hard to know what you were getting with Walker. Like the day before Walker signed with the Mets, his agent was talking to another team that offered him a minor league deal with a non-roster invite to spring training. And that, this was a team that had a need in its rotation, actually. So uh, I think coming back from all those injuries, it was hard to, hard to say. Uh, one key thing that the Mets did, which they deserve credit for, was arrange a private showcase just for their scouts uh, for Walker uh, before making him the offer. And at that, they thought his fastball was firm, uh, which we've seen. I Rec mentioned the fastball. That four seam, it's not great velocity, but it has life. Uh, I would imagine that it has pretty good spin. What we saw today, I haven't looked at today's numbers yet, but it sort of transcends its velocity a little bit in the mid-90s, which is low nowadays. And the Mets did see that when they scouted him. So uh, for that, they certainly deserve credit.